Hey guys, Jason Moss here, and in today's video, I wanna show you a really cool business card scanner app that I came across a couple weeks ago. Um, it's actually been in the AppSumo store for several months, actually since April, I think it was, and it's still in there. Usually these things in AppSumo expire, they're only in there maybe two, three, four weeks max, but this has been in here since April. So I wanted to make a video, show you how it works, because I think I think a lot of people are overlooking it because business cards are sort of on their way out. Um, not a lot of people use business cards anymore like they did back in the day, but there's a lot of industries, markets, and jobs that business cards are still huge, okay? Um, and if you go to Google right now and type in business card scanner, there's 3,600 people a month searching for that. So I know there's a lot of people searching for things like this, okay? So let's, let's hop into the app here. Uh, this is what the app looks like. Maybe that'll show up. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. But let's hop in and uh, I'll show you how it works. All right. So here is how the app works. Um, I have an iPhone, so I went to the app store and I searched business card scanner and you'll see this pop up business card scanner by Cove. I'm sure it looks somewhat similar on uh, the Google Play Store. All right. But you'll see really good ratings on it. Um, you know, beautiful. Uh, images here and then let's go and look how it works so I'll hit open all right and you'll see I have no cards added yet I deleted the ones that I was playing around with but let's scan a new card so I got a card laying down here in front of me I'm gonna hit the camera button and there's the card and I'll I'll move it so you can kind of see this blue box hopefully it's showing up on this screen recording um, but it automatically finds it and it takes a picture of it, as you can see. And you can adjust this if for some reason it gets off, you can uh, make it a little bit bigger, um, you know, play around with it, that type of thing. Uh, but I'll hit next. And then I'll hit done. And it starts scanning it. Okay, now this is my business card, of course. And you'll see it's grabbed the full name, Jason Moss, the company, um, it did not get the company correct, so we can come in here and edit that. It did get the job title correct, president, uh, phone number is correct, of course. Um, email, email is on there. For some reason, it didn't grab it. It grabbed it the time before, uh, but we can just edit that and pop it in. Okay. Website, it did find the website on there, and then you have the option to put notes or tags. Um, so yeah, that all looks really, really good. And then of course, let's see, we can move this, okay? And then we can do the back of the card if we want, all right? So you can have like a, a full, uh, you know, the front and back of your card, because sometimes there's good information on the back. All right, um, this one on my card is just a, a quote, some uh, some verbiage, of course, but then you have both sides of it. Now you see these blue icons, okay? Um, you got the uh, the phone icon, the messenger icon, and the mail icon. You can click on those, and you can just uh, well, I have it on uh, airplane mode, so it's not going to do it, but it it brings up the phone number, so you can just call it instantly, okay? So it makes it very very simple. And then you have, let's save this real quick. You have this option on the, the bottom right-hand side, okay, that you saw just pop up. If I click on that, you'll see I have the option to uh, share contact, all right? So when we do that, we have the options of, you know, messaging it, uh, copying the information, emailing it to ourselves or whoever. Um, so you have all those options that pop up. And then we also have save to phone option, all right? Um, so instantly it pops it in your contact area. You can edit the rest of the details if you want, and then you can hit done and it's going to save a new contact. All right. So very, very simple to use when you go on back. All right. You'll see a whole list of all your cards that you've scanned in here. Makes it very, very simple to collect all these different cards. Now that you've seen how the app works, um, keep in mind they're still working on this. It's not a fully developed product at the at this point. 
I mean, obviously it's gonna scan things, you can save them into your phone, that's all fully functional. But the big, big thing is the integrations, okay? They are working on integrations, and the biggest one, I think, is with Zapier, okay? Because obviously Zapier can connect to just about any kind of CRM that you might have, email service, uh, text messaging service, whatever it might be. So think about this for a second. There's a lot of places like old school businesses. Um, I know I have like a farm store near me that they have a, uh, you know, a board out in front of the store uh, when you walk in and there's business cards all over the thing. There's a couple of restaurants that I know of that have business cards. They still have those, those bulletin boards where people post everything um, and pin their business card up there. So think about it from this perspective, like lead generation. Like myself, um, I am a like a search engine optimizer, I guess you could say. Um, I have a, a local SEO agency. We also do Facebook ads, that type of thing. So we work with a lot of local businesses. So what could I use this app for? Well, simply put, I can go up to those bulletin boards, scan all those cards, all those businesses into the app, okay, and then come home right now the integrations don't work they're not they're not ready but i could come home and i can start text messaging all those people i could start calling them i could start emailing them okay i mean that's huge okay but once they get that zapier integration set up the possibilities are endless okay you could connect that with any one of your crms you could connect it with a autoresponder campaign so as soon as you scan somebody in, they instantly get an email from you um, and put into maybe a campaign of some sort, all right? Or you could connect uh, Zapier with like Twilio and start sending out automatic text, text messages. Um, I mean, there's a ton of uh, possibilities with it. So um, once they get that Zapier integration, I'll leave a comment here on the video. I'll update this post or whatever, uh, but just... You know, get it from the App Sumo store. It's nine freaking dollars. Okay. Usually things in here are like 39, 49, or 59 bucks, but it's nine bucks. Um, nine dollars. It's well spent. You'll have it for a lifetime. You'll get the integrations when they come out. And you can scan all those business cards um, into your phone, uh, save them into the phone, shoot them over to your CRM or autoresponder, whatever it might be. Um, there's a lot of possibilities with it, but if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up, um, you know, like the video, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get, uh, you know, notifications next time I have a video. But if you have any questions, leave them down below. I answer just about everything. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.